Okay, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. All right, so today we're doing some more uh, videos on, actually I shot a lot of videos, on the new Fusion Silver. This is our Invisible for, uh, Tech, sorry, Invisible uh, Tech 4K. Now, <coughs> sorry, as I said in my last demonstration, <coughs> sorry about that, got a bit of cold here. As I said in my last demonstration, um, the, actually the first demonstration we did on the screen, I told you guys, I guarantee you, this guy called, uh, I think he's calls himself Jamie. It's Jamie. Yeah, Jamie designs his crow paint. I said, I guarantee you, bar none, that he would try to do the same thing we did. And was I not right? Because he tried to do the same thing. He tried to get this uh, frost, this frost uh, spray paint and um, uh, uh, plexiglass and tried to do the exact same thing we did. The funny thing about it is, um, I don't know where what goes on in this guy's mind is, he didn't realize that, see, projectors have a thing called lamp glare. It's called lamp glare or um, um, lens glare, uh, lamp glare. And that's where a lot of these rear projection screens have these problems because what happens is the lamp glare puts a burning light in the center of the screen. And you can see it. You can see the burning light in the center of the screen. And he tried to use a 50, uh, 50 lumen projector and hit the screen with it. Now the problem is, the reason why he chose a 50 lumen projector because that's going to give off less light and it's a less of a chance you're going to see the glare in the middle of the screen. Now we used a 2000 lumen projector, an NEC VT595 projector, to show you even with the projector right up on the screen, you don't get that blinding glare in the middle of the screen that's caused by the projector's lamp. So when he posted the video, you can see the light crystal clear in the middle, the, bl the blinding light, and then he did it in a dark environment. He turned on a light somewhere in the back and a little light cascaded on the screen, on the wall, but never hit the screen. And basically, he really had no form of, uh, of, of proof that his screen was exactly like ours. So he did try, but it failed miserably. On top of that, he put a projector on the front and a projector on the back, and it just showed the same glare that was on the front that showed on the back of the screen. So uh, that, was, that was an embarrassing fail. So when we did the demo, our demonstrations, we did one where we actually put the uh, glass, actually the projection screen near the window. We had light cascading through the window. We done one where we hit the screen with tons of ambient light. We had light shining behind the back of the screen. We had the 600 watt bar light. We did it from a distance, like between, uh, between nine and 12 feet from the screen. So we did all the necessary tests that we usually do. So in this test, because I've had someone ask already, can I use a short throw on this? Because like I said, they don't want to get that blinding glare in the middle of the screen. Here's our NEC M300XS short throw projector at 3000 lumens, which means you can sit this screen right up on top of your projector and you won't get that burning light right in the center as you've seen in his video. All right, so. Let me come over here real quick and do this demonstration and I'll show you the advancements of the screen at only 3%. Now, mind you, we have a 600 watt bar light on the other end that's pushing light into the screen. Personally, out of the screen, and we're using a 3,000 lumen short throw projector. Now, see, the thing is, it's hard to get a screen not to glare, not to get that burning light in the center of the screen, not the hot spot uh, when you're using a 3,000 lumen projector, 2,000 to 2,000 to 3,000 and up uh, projector. Now, you're using 50 lumens. 50 lumens is easy. It's, you're still going to see that glare in the middle of the screen. It's still going to be there. But the reason why it's, it's a little easy because you're going to be using less lumens from your projector and that's going to cause less of effect of glare on your screen. And this is what he was trying to pull off or trying to, um, trying to uh, assinuate what he could do. He could make the screen look amazing without the glare from the light in the center of the screen but what he didn't realize is like even at 50 lumens or even at 48 lumens, I've done at 48 lumens on test, it still shows up. All 
right up on top of the screen. Let's see if I can get it to go back a little farther. There we go. No lying, the screen is only at 3% done. So look at that, look at the quality at 3%. And like I said, 3000 lumen projector right up on top of the screen. And you don't see any burning light right in the center of the screen right here. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you all enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Let me get back. I got a lot of work to do.